Hello, I'm Michael Horowitz, Inspector General for the U.S. Department of Justice. Today, our office released a review of gender equity in the department's four law enforcement components, the FBI, the DEA, the ATF, and the U.S. Marshals Service. We conducted this review after receiving several complaints expressing concerns about gender discrimination and harassment at these components. As part of our review, we conducted individual interviews, an anonymous online survey, and focus groups. While overall staff generally believed that their components were gender equitable, our review found that women, especially female criminal investigators, overwhelmingly did not hold this view. We found one reason that likely contributed to this view was that women were underrepresented in the criminal investigator workforce overall, and especially in supervisory and leadership positions. For example, in 2016, women held over 57% of non-criminal investigator positions, but they held only 16% of criminal investigator positions. And during the six-year period we examined, there were few women leading field offices, field divisions, or districts in the four law enforcement components, and even fewer in headquarters executive positions leading operational units. Additionally, we determined that female criminal investigators were underrepresented in competitive promotions at the FBI, DEA, and ATF. This may have contributed to a belief that there is a glass ceiling for women at these agencies. We also found it concerning that, in response to our survey, 22% of all women and 43% of female criminal investigators reported that they had experienced some form of gender discrimination during the previous five years. These and other findings, including findings related to what we believe is underreporting of discrimination allegations based on factors like fear of stigma and retaliation, are described in detail in today's report. And you can listen to a podcast with the review team members to hear more about the findings and the methodology of this review. To read the report, please visit our website, oig.justice.gov, or go to oversight.gov. Thank you for joining us.